What will win in a drag race between the new Hyundai Ioniq 5N and the Mercedes-AMG GT Coupe 63? Well, we're going to find out because I'm going to race them over the standing quarter mile. I'm Matt Watson and you're watching Car Wow. Let me tell you about this Hyundai Ioniq 5N. So it has two electric motors, one at the front, one at the back, so you've got four-wheel drive, and combined they put out 650 horsepower and 740 newton meters of torque. However, tips the scales at around 2.2 tons. It's quite reasonably priced considering how much power it's got. 65,000 pounds works out to the fact that you're paying 100 pounds for every horse. <laughs> Quite cheap horses. Anyway, let's find out about that AMG from its driver. It's Francis Bourgeois, who normally spots trains. Hi Francis, how are you? Hello Matt, I'm very well, thanks. How are you finding it in there? I feel like I'm in a rocket ship. It's quite exciting, isn't it? Do you know the stats on your car? I do, actually. Um, and being a railway enthusiast as well as a car enthusiast, um, I'm able to reel off the fact that this car has 585 horsepower, 800 newton meters of torque, four-wheel drive, nine-speed automatic gearbox, and it's probably going to press my head firmly against the headrest when I accelerate. And it costs 160,000 pounds, and it weighs two tons, which I'm quite surprised about. Wouldn't it be embarrassing if this beats it in a drag race? Well, we're going to find out now. Before we do, though, if you haven't done so already, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss our next upload. And it's a good one, I can assure you. Right, Francis, what we're going to do now is the car wow sound check. So I'd like you to rev up your engine. <laughs> Bit of a soft limiter, but I think I'm going to hear some turbo action from the front. A lot of it's coming through the speakers. Yeah, from the outside, it, I can hear quite a bit. Now, there is a bit of a soft limiter on it. It's not too bad, but yes, it does come through the speakers, but not quite in the same way that the revving sound comes through the speakers in my car, because it does actually make internal combustion engine car sound noises, despite the fact it's electric. So I just press a button on the steering wheel, like that, and now... Now, you won't be able to hear anything from where you are, but listen to this. It's like a video game. <laughs> it is kind of like a video game, but I think it's going to be close this race, so shall we get on and see which car is the fastest over the quarter mile? Uh, I'm going to take my GoPro off now for health and safety reasons. Yeah, you should definitely take it off so you can see where you're going. It's for the best. Three, two, one. Oh, I had him off the line. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh my God, Matt's beating me. I thought he's going to come past me, but then no. interesting so I think I launched a little bit earlier than you and then you started to pull back but then I thought you're gonna come past me but no can you see my hand <laughs> I shouldn't worry mine do that all the time as well actually <laughs> I like to do best two out of three just to be certain so do you fancy another go at it yes please yes please Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! You got a great launch there, but I'm reading him back in. He's catching! What's this? What's this witchcraft? You got a great launch there, Francis. Thank you, Matt, so did you. That was very close. I was actually surprised to see you pulling up on me. I thought I had it then. 
Honestly, mate, I thought you had it as well. You got a brilliant launch. Amazing reactions. Odd, but <laughs> this one. So then what exactly happened? Well, the slow motion action replay reveals that the Hyundai was just ahead of the Mercedes on the finish line, though both cars completed the standing quarter mile with a time of 11.4 seconds. Right then, Francis, what we're gonna do is a rolling race from 30 miles an hour. You're gonna start off in second gear and then you're gonna have to do manual shifts, okay? I'm basically just gonna floor it because I've got an electric car. Okay. Actually, do you know what? I'm gonna go in manual mode as well because this is an electric car that can mimic having gears. It's got an artificial eight-speed made-up gearbox, which is just bizarre. Does it have a made-up clutch as well? It's all made up, it's all just synthetic, but it's kind of crazy and kind of cool, so I'm gonna do it. Three, two, one, go. This picks up so well. But now I'm in fourth, he's pulling away. Oh my God. And he beats me to the quarter mile. I've got him. The gap of the half mile is going to be quite a lot. You won. It was close in the first, like second and third gears. But then you started to just gap me and it was game over. It definitely felt like it was uh, pulling well through the gears. I want to run that again. Reason being that when I'm in like manual mode, it doesn't seem to be quite as quick as when you're just going full EV. And I've also got a special button that I can press when I'm in full EV, which gives me an added boost. So let's do the same thing again. Okay, I think he's got a trick up his sleeve. Three. Two, one, go. I press my button. Look at that. That is different. Oh my God, Matt's got me now. Look at that. Oh my God. How is it so much quicker? Can I get another boost? No, I'm out of boost. I'm gonna beat you to the blooming. Wow. Wow, that was different, wasn't it? What a difference that made. It just seemed like it had another 100 brake horsepower. Now we're gonna have a brake test from 100 miles an hour. When we reach the cones, full emergency stop, the car that stops in the shortest distance wins. If you'd rather watch another drag race involving that AMG, click on the pop-out banner appearing in the top right-hand corner of the screen, or follow the QR code, which you should see now. If not, stay here for the brake test, because here it comes, here comes the cones. Well, my electric Hyundai beat your big, powerful AMG in a brake test, Francis. Sorry, I need a breather then. <laughs> I, I don't, I've never emergency stopped from 100 miles an hour before. I know, it's crazy really, isn't it? Do you know what's also crazy? Just the performance of this car. Do you want to have a little go in it? See what it feels like from the passenger seat? Yes, please. Are you ready? <laughs> okay. Three, two, one, launch. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Holy <laughs> And then I want to show you this, right? So that's in like EV mode. And if I press this button, it goes into like simulated manual gearbox mode. Okay. So look, first gear, I'm going to hit the rev limiter. Second oh. gear. <laughs> that's so bizarre. Rev limiter. <laughs> Do you hear the crackles as well from the exhaust? Not exhaust, but speakers. It's amazing how authentic it feels. It's mad, isn't it? Oh. oh, I wish I went to the loo before I got in there. <laughs> oh dear. So what do you think of that then? Absolutely mega. Can I have a go? What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> Would it be okay to have a go, please? Like in a drag race? Um, if, yeah, if possible. <laughs> Having that versus feeling this as a passenger, like the sensation of the launch is just totally different. So I'd love to see how it feels from like a driving perspective. Absolutely. Let's do one more drag race then. I'll drive the AMG and you can drive this. Three, two, one. Oh. 
Oh, close on the launch. Is he going to come past? This is close. Come on, Mercedes! Come on! Come on! Whoa. Oh my God! Wow! Oh, Francis, that was brilliant driving we were neck and neck on the launch i got ahead and then you started to reel me back in oh you didn't quite pull past me i don't think at the end it was so close though yeah that was brilliant proper bit of racing that <laughs> it was a proper bit of racing listen huge thank you to the chap that lent us that hyundai ionic and i mean it's absolutely mega this is mega too some great times <laughs>